Hi and welcome to this video. Today I will show you how you can fill shapes according to their percentages in Microsoft PowerPoint. This will help you when giving a presentation to make it more infographic and interesting. And now let's go and see how we can do that. First of all, let's see how to fill a text according to a percentage. I will start by inserting a text box and typing 45%. Then I will make the font bigger and change the font. The Arial is suitable for such thing. I will select the text, then I will right click and go into format shape. In the text options, text outline I will choose solid line and I will choose the line to be black. Then for the text fill, I will choose a gradient fill. From here, I will remove those two gradient stops in the middle, and I will keep only the two on the extremes. Then for this one, I will choose a color for it. For example, I want to fill the percentage by the blue color, and I want the position to be at 45% and for this one I will change the color into white and I will choose the position to be also 45% and now as you can see the numbers are filled by 45% now they are filled from the side above I can make it the opposite so to be filled on from below. I will change the angle to be 270 instead of 90 and you can see now that it's filled from the bottom. If I put 0 it will be filled from the left to right and if I put 180 it will be filled from right to left. And Now let's put it again as 270 and as you can see now it's filled by 45%. Now for shapes, I will insert a shape. For example, I want to insert this one. And here, I will do the same thing. The format shape, I will go into line. Then in the solid line, I will choose the black color. And in the fill, I will choose the gradient again. But this time, I want the color to be yellow and I want the filling to be at 80% same thing for this 80% and now you see it's filled by 80% and I want it to be from left to right here in the inside it I can write 80% for example to show that it's filled by this percentage and now for icons, I can do the same thing. First, I'll go into insert icon. And now, let's say that I want this airplane. I will insert it. I'll make it bigger. But if I want to fill it, for example, if I go into format graphic, I cannot fill it by gradient because it's an icon. First I need to convert it to shape from here. So now it's a shape and from this shape I can start doing the same thing. First a solid line. I can make the line with different color. Let's say now that I want to make it as green so I can also choose the line to be green. And from the fill I will choose gradient green color fill it from below 270 and I can choose the other color to be light green instead of white because it will make it look better and as you can see now the airplane is filled by 80% let's say that I want also to change the percentage and let it be 25% 70 
same thing for the other color 25% now it's filled by 25% and let's say for example I'm making a presentation about the sales of airplanes and I want to say that 25% of airplanes are delivered and this infographic now can support my idea in a better way and more interesting for the audience I hope this video was helpful for you to let you know how to fill the shapes according to their percentage in Microsoft PowerPoint, whether these shapes are text, are shapes also, or icons. Don't forget to like it and share it and to subscribe to my channel to always stay updated about my previous and upcoming videos.